No tilt at the Labor leadership. That's the vow from Anthony Albanese if the party loses key seats at this weekend's by-elections. The frontbencher was campaigning in the Queensland seat of Longman, 48 hours out from the crucial decider. Longman is the most marginal of the five seats affected by Super Saturday and while the Prime Minister and Opposition Leader were pounding the pavement on the campaign trail in the other key electorate of Braddon in Tasmania, the heavy hitters were also here in the seat of Longman in Queensland. Anthony Albanese was with Labor candidate Susan Lamb announcing $5 million for a park and ride initiative in the electorate. Labor's election promises have now racked up a total of more than $140 million. Compare that to the government, their total around $50 million. But it must be said, for Labor to fulfil those election promises, they must win not only this weekend's by-election, but also the next general election. And while there have been questions over Bill Shorten's leadership, should Labor lose either here or in Braddon, Anthony Albanese was asked if he'd put his hand up and challenge. This was his reply. I'll say it really slowly. No. There, there you go. There you go. In a, in a word. It's not hard. What I'm concerned about is one thing and one thing only. Being a minister in a Labor government, uh, being able to deliver on infrastructure, being able to deliver on transport. I want to come back here with Bill Shorten as the Prime Minister. And with the current government hoping to get over the line here in Longman, Senior Minister Christopher Pine was also on the campaign trail here in Caboolture. But his campaign alongside LNP candidate Trevor Ruthenberg was interrupted somewhat by protesters. If you believe the polls, the race here in Longman is tight. It's a little more than 48 hours now until those polling booths close and expect the campaigning to ramp up another gear or two tomorrow, the last full day before Super Saturday. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.